Alum! Ah, la 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 la! Alum, legends! It's me, it's Tio. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I've been having trouble making this uh, commentary because uh, I've been having trouble getting my words through. So I've decided to just throw out all my energy at the microphone. And afterwards, I'll just re listen to it and uh, we'll see if it makes sense. The gameplay you're watching is Hitman 2. It's a pre beta build, as you can see in the top right. It's uh, a demo, basically. When I was flown out to LA, Warner Brothers flew me out to uh, play Hitman 2 and get this gameplay. Um, and, you know, if you've liked previous Hitman... Hitman? Hit Hitmans, then you'll like this one. It's... I, um, I put some... I showed you guys some gameplay in my first vlog uh, of the sniper multiplayer game mode, the new one they were coming. And that was very different for Hitman. A lot of people seem worried that that's the only thing, but as you can see here, they still have regular gameplay as well. The game will be available on November 13th, but uh, you can obviously pre-order today and get some extra stuff. There's also a way to get the game on uh, November 9th with a gold edition and whatnot. So you can look all of that up in the link at the top of the description. I'll have that gameplay in the background here as I talk. I'm trying to kill a race car driver. It goes, uh, it goes okay. <laughs> it goes, I, I do okay. Um... So, I have been doing this for almost 10 years now, this YouTube thing. I believe I started my channel in October 2008. And with that time, there's been a lot of ups and downs, I feel, um, in terms of how well it's been going with the channel. And I've always felt that no matter how it goes, I shouldn't pay attention too much to that and just do my thing. Um, but recently, the last couple of years, it's been going really well. And therefore, I've been in the habit of really looking at numbers, you know, and like, oh, how many views am I getting and stuff like that. And March, I believe it was March, uh, I had my best month yet with views. And so it's all been very exciting. And I was uploading a lot then, to be fair. I uploaded 15 videos, I think, in March. And one video went viral, a Fortnite maze video. And it was all great. And because I've been in this habit of looking, now I'm having a bit of a down period, uh, both personally and just if you look at numbers. And I think it doesn't help that I'm <laughs> looking at numbers because uh, that just affects me and makes it worse. I, honestly, I'm, I'm going through a bit of a, uh, or I have been going through a bit of a creator's block, if you can call it that. Uh, you know, like, like writers have a writer's block. I just, I've been struggling um, making videos on my main channel, as you guys probably have noticed, actually. And that's okay, you know, you can't always be up at the top of your game. Sometimes you gotta lay down and uh, play it passively a little bit. That's okay. But it's still, it's been affecting me a lot and affecting me a lot and some days more than others. And there's many reasons to it, but it, I've been having trouble with, I've been having trouble when your game involves playing video games. When your game, when your job involves playing video games, something that's kind of out of your control, then periods of the year where nothing new that excites you comes out, when you're going through those periods, then it's very difficult as a creator to make it work. And I think I just haven't been feeling that excited the last few months playing certain games. Um, I was on a Fortnite high, but that's kind of died down now. I still play it every now and then, but it's gotten kind of eh, you know. It's, it's alright, you know, it's a fun passive game. A lot of you guys know, I've talked about this a lot, that for my channel, I like having one main game. I've talked about this a lot, so some of you may be tired of hearing it. But I should repeat it, because some of you may not have heard it. I like to have one main game, you know? Most of you will know the period where my main game was Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, some of you think that that's where everything started, but I've always had a main game, and I've gone through so many games. You know, CSGO, Battlefield 3, uh, Call of Duty, Trouble in Terrorist Town. There's always been a main game, and that's the kind of game that when I start playing something else, people go, wait, where's Siege, you know? And recent, most recently, it's been Fortnite. And now that that's getting stale, um, and there's nothing, usually I've had something to replace it once it gets stale. So when I got tired of, started getting tired a little bit of, about C, of Siege, started playing PUBG, because PUBG came out, really good timing, and then Fortnite came out, and then, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I've been going through a few months now where it's all getting kind of stale and uh, I've got a summer to get through before all these new games are coming. Hitman 2 included. This is, yeah, so this is kind of a complainer's, I'm just laying it all on the table for you. Just thoughts I've been having, things I've been struggling with. 
to help a little bit with my struggles with this, with main channel uploads here on Tio. Uh, I've started getting really active on my second channel, more Tio. Um, just because there's been a lot of people who have been, who have shown interest in seeing uh, raw streams and uh, these raw matches. And so I've, I've been uploading almost daily, I'd say bi-daily if that's, if that's a word, on more Tio, my second channel. I've been putting up good games from games I'm playing, good sessions, not not everything I stream, but just raw highlights. Um, and recently some people have been asking me, is this your new main channel? You're uploading so much. But the thing is, it, it like honestly, it doesn't take me much time to upload videos on more TL. I'll spend at most 15 minutes to sort out an upload for that. I literally highlight it on Twitch, export it to YouTube, and then make a thumbnail. Like it's, um, it's something I've been doing. And it's nice to see that there's so much interest um, for just these raw things. I used to do a lot of raw uploads here on the main channel, but I think over the years when you grow, it gets harder to put up those kind of, it sounds kind of wrong, but those more low effort videos, because it feels like they're not worthy for you guys in a way. <laughs> uh, it, maybe it comes off wrong, but that that's how it feels, you know? I used to be a lot more relaxed with my uploads here but now i feel like every video other than commentaries this is something i've always done let's talk to the to the mic um every upload has to be like well done <laughs> and and is that bad uh yeah it's, it's I th i'd say it's bad and good you know I've, i i, I want to be more relaxed with my uploads here but i i can't really i am excited for um this holiday season. I feel like last year's holiday season was pretty meh in games. What games are actually being played now that came out last holiday season? I feel like most games are, have just been abandoned. In comparison to, for example, how this holiday season looks, I think last holiday season with new games was pretty uh, tame. Uh, this game, you, I can't fucking... like. Some months are going to be crazy. October, November, are obviously. Um, but then February, I think it is, is or is it March? It, basically from September to March, it's just filled, packed with games. And I, as a creator and a streamer, I can't fucking win. What's nice is I played Siege a few days ago, as you saw with my tournament video, and uh, I actually really enjoyed myself, uh, more so than I have in the past. The last year with Rainbow Six Siege, when people have been asking why I don't like it, main reason is was because of all the trap operators every time they released operators i'd try it and the operators would have it, traps involved in most cases and so they'd be played a lot and a lot of the there was too, there were too many traps the whole trap meta as a lot of the siege players call it that seems to be gone now uh, and it's changed and so i my last session i really enjoyed it i'm going to be playing it more and i'm hoping i'll, I'll get a bit more into that because uh, I need something that I can play right now. Because most of the times when I when I sit down to play a game, to play, like I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna play, and it's it's. I've been struggling, you know. Um, but I wanted to talk about that a bit because uh, you know I've gotten that off my chest now. Um, it's good to be honest with your viewers. Just nice to fill you guys in, you know. My point is that this creator's block feels I'm, I feel like I'm getting out of it a bit I've got more videos coming I'm gonna try to get a bit more active here on the main channel that is such a youtuber thing to say you know that's such a classic I've been pretty like I'm gonna get more active I swear but that's how I feel personally I've been having a really shit time personally um in uploads I've been struggling to get down and make them um but I'm gonna get back into it now um I feel a bit better I've got some some uploads I'm looking forward to making so that's about it, guys. We're gonna end it with a movie review. Used to be a, god damn, Alex. Used to be a classic of mine to have a movie review with every commentary. And these days, when I make one without one, there's always someone in the comments. I know that you're thinking about it. Come into the comments and say, "Where's the movie review?" Because I've been doing them for the last like, I used to do commentaries a bit more often like four or five years ago, and I used to do one at the end of each one. And uh, I know you're waiting for it. Uh, problem is, I don't know what I'm going to review. Uh, what, what movie have I watched? Oh, you know what? <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it, but I watched Gran uh, Turismo. Gran Torino? Gran Torino. Um, Gran Torino? Gran 
Torino. Ran Torino, yeah. With, uh, with Clint Eastwood. My main man, Clint. Uh, yeah, a lot of you have probably seen it, because it's, it's kind of a classic now, isn't it? But I never actually came around to seeing it until now. Alex and I watched it the other day. Um, uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil anything. Uh, it's with Clint Eastwood, and he, um, uh, he's like an old war Korean war vet. And he's, uh, pretty, uh, he's pretty much racist. Uh, and he, uh... Uh, he's got a lot of hate in his heart, and it's about how he meets, uh, this, uh, family next door, and, uh, goes through some things. It's a good, it, it's, a, it was really good. I thought the acting, the, this Asian family, the, the teenager and stuff, their acting was, I'm gonna be honest, pretty awful. Their, you know, script delivery, timings with things they said wasn't great, but... The movie itself, and especially Clint Eastwood, Clint Eastwood was great. The dog was fantastic. I, it was a good movie, and I'd recommend it. I give it a four out of five. Well, whatever my the T.O. heads, you know. Um, so watch that if you're uh, looking for a movie to watch. I'd recommend it. That's about it. Once again, as a reminder, Hitman 2. Go check out the link top of the description. Thank you, Warner Brothers, for flying me out. November 13th, write it down in your diaries, Hitman 2. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll have a, a funny moments video coming up soon. Uh, I'll see you in that. Bye-bye, everyone.